Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a crocheted bracelet and we're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be doing a um, crocheted bracelet. You're going to need a 2.5 millimeter hook, a button, and I went with a shank button. You're going to need a pair of scissors, some scrap um, crochet thread, and a darning needle. So first we're going to cross our yarn and we're going to chain 45. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Now, my little mat here, every square is an inch. This should me measure about seven inches, so stretched out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, mine measures eight. But that was with a long loop, so seven and a half inches. We're going to chain one extra one. And in that second chain from hook, we are going to do a single crochet in the loop, pull through, through two loops. So that's two. We're doing ten single crochets in these. Not in each one, but 10 total. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to chain 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And now going to, we're going to count out 25 on that bottom. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 24, 25. In the 26, we are doing single crochet. One. And we're doing to the end of the row, which should be two. Ten. Two. Three. Four, oops, five, six, seven, eight, oops, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-se
eight. Oh, I got to nine. Well, it should have been ten. If you did it right. So somewhere I messed up. Okay, so chain one. Turn your work. We're going to do, for me, it's going to be nine for you. It should be ten. I'll get to ten. Here we go. One. We're doing single crochets. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and because I want this to be ten, I'm just, oops, so if you made the same mistake I did, just do an extra one in the one of the chains. So, ten, chain twenty-five, and then do your other ten. So this is row two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. And then you're going to attach to that first single crochet on the other side with the single crochet. So one, and it should be 10. Now do another row like this and meet me back. For the next row, we chained up one. We're turning our work. We're going to single crochet, oops, one, Two, three. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next three. One, two, Three, and then we're going to do our 25 and finish off the row. Okay. And then meet me back. We got to the other side. We're going to chain up one, turn our work, do 10. Again, 10 single crochets. One, Two, three, four, five, six. Anyway, you get it. Do ten double crochets, twenty-five, and then when you get to the other side here, when you get to this chain, make sure you put four single crochets, but. Get to the other side and then meet me back and I'll show you what we need to do for this buttonhole. Okay, I've done my 25, my chain of 25. So I'm going to go to the other side here. And I'm going to do my single crochet. Okay, so one. Two. three, which brings us up to our chain four. But we're gonna just do four single crochets in that space. One, two, three, four, and then three, um, 
single crochets after that. And now those were our rows to make the buttonhole. Now you're just going to do three more, sorry, two more rows back and forth. And then I'll show you how to assemble. So two more rows. So chain up one, turn your work, 10, 25, chain 10. And you're doing that twice. Do that, meet me back. Okay, so I just did my last stitch of the 10 on the side. I'm gonna make my loop big, cut my thread, pull my tail through my thread. And this is what we've got. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're taking our darning needle. Okay, we're just going to hide these threads. Okay, so we'll just, and I just go through a few stitches. And then pull through, but I'm not pulling too tight. I don't want to distort. And then I go a little bit behind when I finished off and I go through again. And I'm only going through the top. I'm not going through the front. And I just do that for a few times. And that's how I, so I always go a little bit back and then a little bit forward. And I'm not going through to the other side. I'm just catching the string, strings on this side. Or not. Sorry, I'm working around a camera, so <laughs> it makes it a bit more challenging. So there we go. And I don't tie knots. I just do what's called backstitching here. And that'll make it so it won't unravel. Then I cut my thread and I do the other one. And then we'll sew on our button. Now, if ever you've done this and you have your heart set on a certain button but your buttonhole is too big, no problem. Don't freak out. Because like I went with this button because Oh my goodness, it's a metal button and I really like it, the looks of it, and that's what I wanted for my bracelet. But uh, if my buttonhole was too big, just add a stitch and it's no big deal. You just like take some of this darning thread and just sew your, your buttonhole smaller. If it's too small, remember that crocheting relaxes. So if you just work it for the first few times you wear it, by the end, it'll be, by the end, after not too long, it'll be so that it's the right size. Okay, so I've hidden that thread, cut, and if you have a long, t like, leftovers, you can use that to sew on your button. So, this is what we've got. Now, at this point, if you wanted to block it, you could. Um, I don't block much. I, uh, there we go. Then I'm going to cut a piece of my thread. And like I said, this is great for any time you have leftovers thread. Let's say you make doilies or, or anything that requires the thread. Or you've been gifted thread, like when my grandmother passed away I was given a whole bunch of her crochet thread because my aunts don't crochet with thread well I don't usually crochet with thread 
So then you're going to want to place your button. So decide where you're going to put it. Mine's a shank button, so... Oops. So I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to go through... What have I done? Okay, I did something wonky. Don't do wonky stuff. We don't like wonky here. Put your button where you want it. Hold it in place. Oh, and see, mine has a picture, so maybe I'll actually try and make that picture line up. Would I want it to face me? Probably face me. Okay, so then I have to catch that shank, which I did. And then I want to catch it again. There we go, and I did. So I've got two through there. Pull tight. Okay, and then I'm just gonna knot that at the back here once, twice, and three times for good measure. And then to make it last even longer, I'm gonna Put a teeny dab of glue there. Doesn't matter if you use school glue or whatnot. Okay, and then you tie it up. So, for me, I have little teeny tiny wrists. So, this fits me. Whoa! Knocking over camera. There we go. So see, this fits me. And remember, crocheting does relax. So it might be a bit snug at first, but that's okay. It will totally relax. You just fix it the way you want it. See? And that covers my ugly ganglion. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I think it's cute. You could make it a bit bigger. It's up to you. You could make the button, the star of the show, whatever. Whatever you want. I think it's cute. I might, for myself, go a bit bigger next time. Maybe do 50 um, total. But, yeah. There we go. That's it. So if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to hear if I'm putting up another video, hit the little bell. That doesn't always work. So I try and do a new video every Thursday. There. Every Thursday. So check back on Thursdays and you'll usually see a new video. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye now.